All right, team. In this segment, we're going to be talking about projecting the cash flow statement in our LBO model. And fortunately, this information will be helpful for most modeling exercises. The best shortcut to take when you're working with data from the same company is to copy paste the line items required from another tab. This is going to save you a lot of time. In this case, the process of projecting the cash flow statement is initiating by copying the cash flow statement line items from the tab labeled operating model and pasting them in the appropriate place on the tab labeled 3SM. And once pasted, we can reduce the height of empty rows, and to do that, use keyboard shortcut Alt-H-O-H, input 5, and press Enter. And then repeat the action with F4. And as a last step, we'll reorder the debt line items under cash flow from financing activity. So press Alt-I-R, and then F4 to repeat the action. We'll have our line of credit at the top, so use control C and control V to move term debt down, and then input subordinated debt. We can highlight this row with shift spacebar and press alt E D to delete it. Now, the sequence required to project each line item is identical to the sequence laid out in the instruction in the integrating financial statements video series and the LBO video series. So we will not explore that in too much detail, but we will revisit some key relationships. And to avoid scrolling around this larger file, I have a few schedules that make it easier to visualize these relationships. First, and this is a good one to remember because it's a common entry level interview question, the cash flow statement starts with net income, which pulls from the income statement. Next, we add back non cash items, which in this case includes depreciation and amortization to arrive at total non cash adjustments. After that, we have working capital, and here it's important to remember that as an asset increases, it consumes cash, and conversely, as a liability increases, it creates cash. So for a current asset, you start with the previous year and subtract the current year. And for a current liability, you do the opposite. This gets us to cash flow from operations. Next, always recall that capital expenditures represent a use of cash and are therefore a cash outflow. So we have this sum as a negative number. And in this model, that is the only line item under cash flow from investing activities. After that, we can move on to cash flow from financing activities. For the time being, it is only important to note that all items related to the debt schedule remain blank because we have not yet built the debt schedule with a cash suite. But this will be addressed in a future lesson. Finally, these three categories of cash flow cash flow from operations, cash flow from investing activities, and cash flow from financing activities all sum to net cash flow for the period. This sum is then added to the prior period's balance to arrive at the ending cash balance, which links back to the balance sheet. But here's something interesting. Now that we have added cash to the balance sheet in row 75, you will notice that the balance sheet is unbalanced by $41,410,000. This might seem alarming, but as a general rule of thumb, if the balance sheet is unbalanced by the same amount in each period, most of the time it's an easy fix because it generally suggests that a static line item has not yet been projected. And in this case, by summing the new code debt line items, which include $17 million of subordinated debt and $25 million of senior debt, we get to a total debt balance of $42 million. And if we then subtract the capitalized financing fee of $590,000, you arrive at the exact same balance of $41,410,000, visible in each column of the projected period in row 102. So this should provide confidence that the process has been followed correctly up to this point, and that the balance sheet will balance once the debt schedule is complete. Because all of the line items we just listed pull from the debt schedule, which fortunately means we're close. All right, team, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.